Hello YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another great video. You already know I'm your boy Rasses from Garment Creations. And on this channel, we give you tips and tricks to amplify your t-shirt business. What's up, y'all? What's going on? How's everybody doing today? Thanks for tuning in on today's live video. Told y'all I'm trying to be a little committed to y'all and doing this daily live but in order to do these daily lives you guys got to provide me the questions or the content that you want to see and on today's live we're going to be using our 3g opay to apply on some hats okay because i know i'm not sure if uh if peaches peachy is on here today maybe not yet but they requested to see how to apply on hats. And because I already have this job pending, I said, okay, what better video to do but that. Say what's up to a few people. What's going on, Sam Day 44 We're live. Hey, Nikki Price, what's going on? Gilly, what's up, visionaries? What's going on, my man? We got Third Day Lou. Third Day Lou, what's happening? Got the key to the shop, Gilly. That's what's up. Go ahead, man. Y'all give, give, give me a thumbs up for Gilly getting, <laughs> getting his keys to the shop. Give me the thumbs up, though. And give Gilly a hand clap. I'm going to clap for you, Gilly, while they give me the thumbs up. We can share it a lot. You feel me? What's going on? That's what's up, though, bro. I'm happy for you, man. I'm I'm happy for you, big time. You celebrated two years today, right? Celebrated two years today, and you got the key to your shop. That's a blessing. I'm so that that see that just made my day. All right, that's it. No more live. You only got the keys. We're gonna go home now. <laughs> nah, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna apply some hats here. I got my old but faithful hat cap. Cap parts over here that we got from Pro World. You know, I got all the Pro World stuff going on here. Got to go to Bible study. Oh, man, that's good. Fortunately, Bible study was just canceled for me because it's the weather is crazy out here today. Yep. Yeah, That's what's up, man. I'm also gonna do, I've got some shirts here that goes with the hats and we're gonna layer the vinyl on this. So it's gonna be a, a two-step process with that. That's what's up, Third World, we appreciate it. It's, it's the community, man. It's the fire up the heat press community. This is the heat press panors. I mean, I thought of that new name today. We're doing heat press panors. We're, we're going to call ourselves the heat press panors, man. We're part of the fire up the heat press community. But if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If it's your first time catching a live, go ahead and subscribe. Right now, I got the heat presses on. So because we're doing the shirts and the hats, and I also got the cap press on as well. I have my trusty little tool here. We're going to test the temperature on this thing. Looks like right now we're at right where we need to be. The thing with this cap press here, I did get it for cheap, but you got to keep messing with it with the temperature. Even though I'm, I set it for 320 here, it's actually reading like 340, something like that. But we got our heat press going there. The heat press is set for 350 because we're going to be doing this. The 3 geo peg, as you know, 3 geo peg applies at 350 for 30 seconds. So first thing, we're going to start here. We'll do a few of these because I got 12 of these hats to do tonight. Go ahead and smash the like button for me one time. If you guys 
are loving this so far. If you're loving Garment Creations, you're loving this channel, smash that like button for me. We got 10 people here and we got one like. Y'all know I'm going to ask y'all to smash that like button there. There we go. Thanks for the love. But these hats, the hats that I'm using today, I think it's from Big Accessories. I mean, it's a brand on Offer Broader. The thing about my press here, though, my press does not have the clamp down thing that goes on there. So it's actually is a it's a bit of a inconvenience because you're not able to clamp it down, so you gotta like hold it. It's a little it's a little ghetto, but it still gets the work the job done. What's up, Rashonda? Appreciate you for smashing the like button. We'll keep up the good work, you know. I got to keep giving y'all the content. So what we're going to do, when it comes to hat, it's the same process with vinyl, HTV, whatever the, the type of... Um, method you're using to print this except for embroidery of course if it's a heat press that's involved it's gonna be the same thing i mean it's just some presses are different they got the ones with the clamp down like i said but this one don't have the clamp down because i did get it for the low what's going on giovanni so i got my heat tape another good tool when it comes to hats is that heat tape you need the heat tape I mean, the heat tape just holds that thing down in place. So I'm gonna take a piece of heat tape here. Boom. I'm gonna line up a few pieces of tape here just so we can speed up the process a little bit. So try to not keep this live on for longer than an hour. Hopefully I can get this job done in an hour. So the trick that I found with this, this is actually, I already printed, they just added 12 more hats and shirts to this order. I printed 39 already, like last week or something. So to add it to the order. So what I've been doing, just gonna take my, my artwork, if it's gonna stay on. I'm gonna take the piece of tape here and just hold it down. Try to make sure it's centered where you want it to be. It's important that you don't make it crooked. It's also important when you're doing this stuff here to get extras. It's always good to have extras because you never know when something's gonna get messed up, you know? How many people is heat pressing on hats? These are actually six panels. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six panel kit hat over here. What's going on, Andrew James? Andrew James, thanks for watching it. So keep up the good work, inspiring. I appreciate it. As long as y'all keep watching the content and engaging to it, I keep it coming, you hear me? I'm gonna keep it coming. And keep it coming for y'all. Again, remember you can all on there. We we'll also have links from Top Transfers affiliate links. We we'll also have links from Monkey Prints. We we'll have links in the description. I appreciate it if you can use them, especially my Amazon links, man. You know, Amazon. We all use Amazon all day long. I do have the second check came in for Amazon, but that video is gonna go up. We're not going, I don't know what to do that live, but the second check did come in for Amazon. And if y'all remember that one video, we talked about the Amazon check, it was like $2. We made more money this time. We're actually able to buy gas this time, you feel me? So. So my artwork is on there. I wanna make sure it's nice and straight. 
I should have already placed these before the video started, but that wouldn't be any fun, right? So my artwork is on there. And to avoid any issue, one thing that I've been doing, I'm gonna get my little pillow here. I got these pillows. If you follow me on Instagram, you see my wife made these pillows here. That video went up a few weeks ago. These pillows are actually for sale now on the website at eatpressuniversity.com. If you're interested, it's another way you can support the channel. And we got the Patreon page coming up too. I just started setting up the Patreon page last night because in order to keep giving y'all these contents, man, we need to get, I need to get a better hat press so we can give y'all better videos. We need to get some other things here to keep bringing out the content, you know? So I would appreciate any type of support. I appreciate that third day. So what I'm gonna do here though, I'm gonna stick this to the heat press. I'm gonna just tack it up so it can actually lay this down for a little bit. I'm gonna just tack it. I mean, so just a quick, just a quick tack there, just so it can lay down. And then that way, even if the tape moves, this only works with like, this type stuff, it won't work for HTV. So the tag in here helps it, and then I'm gonna apply it. What I do for this press here, since it don't have the clamp down, I like to hold it down a little bit and then swing the press over. It's another reason why I did the tag down because it's so tight. I mean, when I'm swinging it over, I don't want it to move. So I usually do that tack, that tack method there just so the actual graphic or design does not move on me in any way. So it's on there now. And I'm just gonna apply it. Our temperature right now, we need to double check our temperature first. Okay. It should be good on the tent. Not like our mug press last night. The the button, the timer actually works on this thing here. I appreciate that, Rashonda. Rashonda says she's gonna grab some of those pillows. Go ahead, you can grab them. We appreciate that. My wife's over there. She's behind the sewing machine right now. She, she could customize it for you right now. So, so we got, you know, with red, the red is going to discolor for a little bit. But once that thing cools down, this discolor is going to disappear. It's going to absorb, dissolve into the, the actual garment. I always worry about that because I'm like, dang, I burned it, but you didn't burn it. It's actually just the, the dye on the hat or the shirt. It happens the same way on the shirts too. So I'm just gonna just peel this off of here. Yeah, it's not too much room be between the, the pull down mechanism here, the actual heat mechanism, and the whole, uh, there's not enough room to play under there. Unless you're gonna go grab one of those $900 starts press there. I ain't there yet. But we'll get that one day though, because I got some good supportive people here that will be supplying, supporting the channel. So yeah, that's one, this one is on there. It's pretty much good, okay? It's on there, it's adhered on there. We're just gonna do that. We'll do a few more of those. Like I said, I only have 12 of them to do, but then we got the shirts over there that we'll also have to do. So go ahead, smash the like button for your boy. Who we got? Hey, hey, hey. Sketches the design, what's going on?
Yeah, Giovanni, that hundred and eighty dollar press probably worked better than <laughs> than this thing here. I actually did only spend like sixty dollars for this press out of um, Pro World's out of box hallway. You know, when you, like I told y'all last night, every time you go there, some people that are in Jersey have the privilege to go into their warehouse. They always have stuff set up in their in their um their hallway there. That's out of the box. This was an out of the box item. So was this press here out of the box item and the mug press. They're all out of the box items. He says, is that a heat press patch? No, that's not a patch, baby. We're using, this is the 3G opaque. So this was a print and cut. This is a print and cut method here. You see that that this color is fading away now as the hat cools down. What's going on, 12 gone? It's crazy. I'm doing this video for a week by request from Peachy, but well, I don't see Peachy on here tonight, so you'll have to watch the, the replay. Again, we're gonna do our attack method here because you know it's not enough room to play around with here, so. Sometimes I like to put the, the pillow on there for the extra cush, but it's not really needed right now. We're just gonna pass it through. And then apply that. So what's tomorrow? Tomorrow live gonna be? Who, who got who got another question or another thing that they want to see that we should do live tomorrow? Told you I want to bring y'all this content. We'll see how long we can keep this daily live thing going. I like seven o'clock. What y'all think about seven o'clock lives? Is seven o'clock a good time for everybody? Seem to be, because that's when the doors close here. That's when we close the shop at seven. So at that point now, it's a good time. Just lock the door, jump behind the camera. We got another one. I think I have to get more than one, more than two pieces of tape so we're not waiting. Okay, seven is fine for Rashonda. Yeah, I like seven. Like I said, it's only because it's when the door locks. I don't want to be going live and then people walk in. You know what happened the last time that happened on a Saturday? Who couldn't get rid of the dudes to get out the shop? Maybe I'll do a few of these ahead. There she go. 
We're doing this for you, even though you're running a little late. You're about 20 minutes late, but again, you remember, you know what I'm about to tell you, that because you're late, you got to smash the like button, just for being late. But we're making these hats because that was your request. So what did you miss? You didn't miss too much because we have 12 of these to do. So we're using the print cut. So the paper that we're using is a 3G opaque, which is a print cut method. Set it up on my silhouette and then cut it on the silhouette. I use my HP 8710 printer to print this. All right, link to that printer is in the description. Maybe not this video, but any other video. Kind of have a big old blister right there. I was setting, when I was setting up, try to fix a screw on here, clamp my darn finger. So yeah, this is for you. It's what you wanted to see. So we're using the heat tape. Okay, heat tape is golden when it comes to this stuff because they tend to move. Even though this tape now is no good because I've used it a few times. It's not trying to work anymore. This roll of tape, I told y'all last night, I had this tape for years, like three years, and it's still going. But how was y'all day today though? How's everybody doing? How was y'all day? What did y'all get into? What's going on, Saucy? You know it say saucy, but I know your name, Terrence. Big bro, Terrence. Appreciate y'all for sending joining the group last night. A lot of people joined the group last night from the live, so that that group now is growing. We're at uh, 115 people on there. It's a good a good number. So if you have not joined the Facebook group, which is Fire Up the Heat Press. You should go on here right after this live. I'm going to throw the link in there at some point. We need a moderator, man. We need somebody to moderate that group. Or even on here, if anybody's interested, I need a moderator in that group. Or else I'm going to have to hire Nita Rain. Nita Rain happened to be my wife. I'm trying to not pay her for anything. So I don't want her. I don't want to hire her. Yeah, we need somebody to moderate that group, somebody to keep the people, keep them engaged. So all my peeps call you saucy. I'll be calling you saucy too then, bro. I mean. That one's a little low. We need to bring it up a little bit. Try to keep it in the camera for y'all, man. My bed. Okay, just two pieces of tape. And like I said, just because it's this type of method here we'll be using, I'm just going to tag it. All right, that's what you missed, BG. I'm just going to do a quick tag just so the, um, the vinyl can stick to the hat. All right, so it's just stuck on there. That way, when we go to press it, we don't have that much playroom here. It's already going to be on there. And I just moved it already. Because my tape is not doing a good job. There we go. Much better. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's just you just want to apply some heat because this thing is heat activated. So once you touch it with the heat, it's going to lay right down. That way your edges are laid down and you don't have you don't have too much movement when you actually go to put it onto the press. So now we're just going to load it. And if you're just joining it, the press that we're using is the the Transpro Cat. I would not recommend this one here, which is I think the cheapest cheapest one there because it does not have to clamp down. You need the hand to hold down. There's a little metal bar here that's supposed to hold the cap down, so it stayed straight. And this machine here does not have it. So, and then there's not much room here. So you have to like hold it down to bring the cap over. And then that way you're able to just apply it. Who else we got? We got anybody joining? We got Harris Inc. 256 for my building for the shop opening soon. Wow. That's two people, man. We got the same good news from Gilly earlier. From Gully, they got, I keep saying Gilly, but I think it's Gully or Gilly. He's got his keys today for his shop. That's good news. And Harris Inc. over here just found the building. That's what's up, man. Y'all making me proud. Y'all making me proud. I like that. I like that people are taking that bull step into a very, very hard, hard decision. I mean, it's not going to be easy. I tell y'all. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be so fun. It's going to be so fun. As long as you love it, man, you got to love it. So right now I'm just taking the tape off. All right, I'm taking the tape off of there. This thing is on there. Again, don't worry about the red box around there. That's going to actually fade right off as soon as this hat gets cold, like this one here. That's three done already. Okay, picked up the signature cap press from from um heat press nation. That is a good one there. I mean, so now I just take my tape off. What ink are you using to print the vinyl you are pressing? So what ink are you using to print the vinyl you're using? It's this inkjet. So this is an inkjet transfer. I hope that answers your question, Giovanni. A K J H promote you. What's going on, Miss Kayla? That looks good. I appreciate it. It, it looks it looks good. Except the, the one thing here, the red lines from the cap is coming through a little bit, but it's red. It's gonna come through just because of that dye. Like the paper is not a dye block, unfortunately. So but nobody can see it. Probably only my eyes can see that. What's going on, Trey Ball? Appreciate you for coming on today. If you're just joining, you already know what I'm about to say. Go ahead, subscribe if you're new. Smash the like button if you're regularly here. If you're a regular person, regular family member, if you're part of the community, smash the like button one time for your boy. That's what's up. I like it. I like it. So how long I'm pressing it for? This thing is recommended. It is a 30 seconds, but I'm not holding it down for 30 seconds on the cap. 
The cap is only, I'm only holding it down for like 20 seconds. 20 seconds is good enough for this cap. It's not really gonna get washed. Oh man, Joan, you still not getting the notifications? YouTube's gotta do better. Did you make sure you set your notif notifications to all so every time we jump on you, you get it? That's a good step all that should practice. You gotta be part of that notification squad. So you don't miss any content. Eddie yes, what's going on, Eddie? So what did you miss? You ain't miss too much because we got a bunch more to do. We're just knocking out some caps here today using our Transpro press here from Pro World. All right. We need to upgrade this thing here to a Heat Press Nation press. But with that, I need to support. I need y'all to loan me $1,000. $100,000. I'm bad. $1,000 is not enough. I need a hundred grand to give me a new press. How about that? Do you believe it? I'm looking for some patrons, man. Setting up the Patreon account. We need I need some patrons to help us raise some money for the channel to give y'all some new content. on there our heat tape is on there we're gonna do another one just so we have a nice little rhythm here and after we're done these we're gonna jump over to the hat to the shirts because like i told y'all it's the big design here is going on to the shirts and then we're gonna follow up with the vinyl just for these 12 i already did 39 of them shirts of which I use the transprint screen printer transfers from top transfers. But because they added 12 more after that, and I only had two extra vinyl, two extra screen printer transfers, I'm using wet flex vinyl for the rest of the shirts. They did have to be a sun. Looks nice. My wife just sewed her a whole outfit. She just put a whole outfit together with her sewing machine. Talented. So that's what you need too. It's actually some setting on my phone itself that keeps resetting. All right. You got to fix that. I appreciate the kind words and your blessing, third world. Tornville is about to blow up. I believe it. I believe it. I receive it. You're busy. Yeah, we're busy. I needed to get busier, though. So what's the cost? Put that down. Right there. Right now. Let it go. And you go. Kids. So what's the cost on the matching tee? So the hat and the tee. The hat, it was saw together, what is this, 49 pieces? So 49 hats, I give them $8 a hat. So they're paying $8 a hat. And then for the 49 tees, is eleven dollars a tee. So it's eleven dollars a tee and eight eight on the hats. And these caps here cost, I think they're two dollars on SNS. And then for this piece of 
this piece of whatever is probably like 15 cents worth of material right here. Because the full sheet, the full sheet comes up to 140. So a dollar and 40 cents if you really do the math on that. And then this little quarter piece thing here or half a dollar looking, it's like 10 cents. So all in all, we're about maybe about 230 in this. So where did I get the hat from? I got the hat from SNS Active Wood. No, no, I lied. I got it from um Alpha Broder. I just started using S and S because their shipping is a little bit cheaper, and right there in Jersey, Alpha Broder is coming from from um, Harrisburg, so their shipping is a little. It's not that much off. I just wanted to try something new since Alpha Broder closed the location where I was able to go and pick up my shirts. It let me down. So now. Paying the shipping, I'm giving the shipping to someone else. I like SNS though. They're all the same, all comparably cl close in prices. Trying to make sure we're straight. I don't want it to be crooked. I feel like I'm missing something. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're missing three. Oh, it's a bunch on the table over there still. It's like I know I printed enough. Yes, you do need to get the reseller's license to use Alpha Broder. All these wholesale places, you need to have to, um, to have your wholesaler's license. Well, I don't understand what's the what's the scare behind people getting the wholesaler's license. What a, a lot of people ask these questions and they're afraid to get that license. I don't understand what the issue is. How many people have a wholesaler's license in here? Or oh, not the wholesalers, the, it's called the resellers permit. Man, I thought Ray was gonna pop on here today. I got a good news for Ray. Ray hit me up last night with a design just to get some feedback because he was designing for the school district and he was going for an interview today to try to win them over to see if they'll let him be their designer or their their printer. Cause he got he got in because his wife, I guess his wife, wife works for the school. And then this afternoon, I would I mean he hit me up again, like, yeah, thank you. I got it. So he was able to win the school district over and he's gonna be printing for them. So he was gonna come in here to celebrate with us today. So we can celebrate with him. But that's good news. Yeah, we all gotta start going after those big markets, like high schools, this, that. I mean, once the school opens up, it's a good place to just keep popping up on them, have some samples to show them, especially if you already, if you know their logos, just do something with their logo and go and give it to them. It's not like you're going to resell it. You can't get in trouble for reselling it. You can't get in trouble for printing it. But if you attempt to sell it, you might then have an issue. It was on Grand Avenue. It was the one on Grand Avenue. Peach, are you, you in Philly? I didn't know you was in Philly. Okay. Dad, we probably ran into each other before. Because <laughs> I went to Alpha Brother a lot. That's if you was going there.
15 years ago. What do you mean 15 years ago? Victor Millfield, can you pass me those prints on the table there, please? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So how long have I been in the game? I've only been in the game just for the first half. <laughs> I only played the first half. I rode the bench for a long time. It's like, no, I've been I've been playing for four years now. It's been four years. You said Thorough third day saying I want to start a channel, but I work out of my house. Don't think my wife would be cool with that. You got to get to the agreement. We started this channel in the house when it was all dark and I was all like, mm -hmm, scared to talk. Yeah, that's where it starts, man. You got to do it. I see you just do it, post one video and then just like have her watch it and just hype it up and then eventually she'll come right along what's going on mr hog jog hog jaw i'm sorry jaws we ain't about to go through this pronounce repronouncing again i got it right this time hog jaws Except for, for the per, permit, what category do you use for your business? What are the options? It's been so long since I did it. I think I did like either manufacturers or retail. I, no, mine's is a retail. It's actually it's a retail and I have it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a retail. Because it says retail on the, on the license, on the permit. Because that's what it is. I mean, like and now we, we, we're in the retail business. We're making things to, to sell. So it's more like manufacturer type retail type thing. Because eventually you're going to have a store where you will be doing some retail. Go ahead, if you're just joining us, again, smash that like button. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, it's like down here somewhere. The weather outside is crazy. Like, it was raining so hard, we lost power for like a blink and it came right back on. Ah, so you, okay. So you used to, you used to print back then. You just got back into it. What made, what made you stop printing before?
Right now what I'm doing, I'm just pre-placing this thing. So once we get over to the press, we can just knock them out. About three more here to place. Oh, this one was never weeded, so we're just gonna weed it right now. The thing with this paper is nice and easy to just. So after the print cut, oh no, no, this one was never cut. This one's got to go back in the silhouette. This one was never cut. This never made it into the silhouette because I was actually planning, I left this one because I was going to do the video of loading it into the silhouette, but y'all pros, man, y'all don't want to see that. Give me that mat, the sticky mat on the table there. My mat, man, this mat has gone through it. I need to go next door and grab one of the spray, the sticky spray thing. I forgot what it's called, it's like mist. Hello, Direct TV, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Said my hat press is trash. This one here is like, okay for like neck labels i mean for the cap store it does this thing you just gotta be a little strategic with it so i'm just gonna place this right here i am put that right there for now It's on there, and we're just gonna load it up into the silhouette. Let us do a thing. This is an easy cut because it's only just cutting right around the um around the circle here. I'm gonna tilt this over so y'all can just see me loading it up. There's no need to take the camera all the way over there. I'm gonna just load this up just so we stay on point. <laughs> Except the fact that the computer is here and it's sort of what's there. So we're going to have to wait on that one there. Because I thought it still had the repeat job button up, but the repeat job button is not there, I guess, because it's disconnected. Duh. So we're going to leave that right there for now. It'll be just the last one. It's no big deal. Yeah, PG, I, I, I mean, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, I'm glad you stayed strong and you was able to bounce back. I do not use the Bluetooth, man. I don't trust Bluetooth. I should sure use the Bluetooth, but I don't. I've never, I've never even set it up. Maybe I should. Would it pop up if I do it right now? Oh, is there like a special setting you have to do? You see exactly, you can't get it to work. It's just, it's Bluetooth. We can't really, can't trust the signal in Bluetooth so much. 
I like direct hard resets or hard um, connections. But what's going on, Ian? What's up? Welcome back. The white. So as I follow black man, I'm proud of you, my brother. Speak well and have a great personality. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. It's all because of that lady back there that's in the camera. Y'all see her? She over there with no shoes on. It's like, <laughs> I'm going to do this here because she's trying to clean up my mess. Exactly. It connects but doesn't stay connected. Guys, it's just it's Bluetooth. I don't understand how people can run silhouettes. I was talking to um Kyle for any up about that. People are running their silhouettes to camp their um cricket off of their phones and tablets. I don't know how y'all do it. it I, I, I can't do with that little screen. Like I can't do a design on my phone. That that sounds crazy. But there's people out there doing it. Some of y'all probably doing it. I applaud y'all for that. But I can't. I'm spoiled with the big screens, with the actual computers. All right, we should speak this up real quick because we still got the shirts to do. And with the shirts, we're doing the big design here. If you're just coming on, we're doing the big one and we're throwing vinyl on top of that. So stay tuned, don't leave. Don't leave me, I'm a, I don't like to be alone. If y'all leave me and be alone, I might cry. I like crying though. Ain't gonna, ain't, ain't gonna say y'all I'm gonna cry, I'm, I'm a crier. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a crier. I, I, I cry. I cry when people steal my lunch. This hat's got a lot of crease in there and it's playing with my intelligence right now. So does it also have the option to be wireless? Tell me about the cricket. I don't know if the cricket has the option to be wireless. No. I thought Weedle has that, had that. You know, when you always when you get to the end, it's that last one that want to give you issues. Anybody else suffer from that last one issue? So I suffer from that. It's always the last one. And again, it's about that time that I'm starving, hungry. I don't know what the plan is. That's me talking to my wife behind in codes. <laughs> I'm trying to find out what's the plan right now. Butter man. What's up, butter man? So what's up? That's crazy. I almost got the brother's cutter. 
because it was it has a screen on it and you can throw these <laughs> I won I can't mess with that. I'm good with the cameo man and my big cutter back there. All right, it's the last one. I'm going to start pressing these, all right? Smash the like button if you haven't. Subscribe if you're new. Share the video. Let people know we're having a good time. You know, we're having a good time. The weather sucks outside, but oh well. We're on vacation. Passion is vacation. Working in your passion. All right, y'all ready? Let's see, our temperature is still good here. Says that we're at 346. This thing pressed at 350, so 346, we're good. Oh, I forgot my tack method. Now I'm just gonna tack it a little bit just so it Stays on there. Boom. Tack my ends. Make sure the edges are tacked so we don't have any issues there. Boom. And I'm going to load it up. Pass this thing over because the space is not enough to work with. But it does its thing anyways. I'm going to load it up. Hold it down because we don't have the special clamp mechanism on there, but it does work magic. Jason W, what is going on? So I got my heat press and my cameo unpacked. About to press my first shirt. Whoa, give Jason a clap. Jason, that's good news. I'm getting, we're getting all good news today, man. All good news. We got somebody that got their keys for their shop. We got somebody that just got a shop. Ooh, oh, this one got a little, this one got a little messy there. This one creased up on me a little bit. We're gonna have to fix that. We can't afford for it to get messy. That one got a little messy there. That one creased up a little bit. But we can fix that. It's not too bad. I'm going to have to hit it again because once it did that, I'm gonna make sure So what kind of printer are you using for the 3G OPEG? Print it in the description, not of not the description of this video, but in any other video, it should be in the Amazon list there. It is the HP 8710. HP 8710 is the inkjet printer that we use. Again, I appreciate the support for everybody that's been using the Amazon links in the description. That's love. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, tacking it on there just so it don't do any type of funky movements. Because we don't want the funkiness. Make sure we don't have any more creases. Hey, Tara, what is happening? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are now live. <laughs> Just knocking these out. It's 3G opaque, print and cut. Using the silhouette cameo. Lamar said, how do you avoid crease? The best with the avoid crease is to get a machine that has that clamp down underneath. That thing to hold the head down, that helps the crease, it spreads it out. So what I'm doing to avoid that right now is just to hold it, pretend like I have that mechanism at the bottom, even though we don't, and that helps, it just flattens the hat. As you can see, it's nice and flat here. There is no crease on there. That's how you do it. The reason why that last one got creased because I didn't hold it down. You have to hold it down. That's if you're using a machine that does not come with the thing. What's going on, Jose? Jose said, what up? What up, y'all? Again, if you're just joining us and you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We have tons of videos to help you through your journey as a heat printer. Also, feel free to join the Facebook group, Fire Up the Heat Press. I think it's time to actually throw the link in there. Let me drop the link in there for y'all. Okay, link is right here. I hope that's the one. That should be the link right there. Sometimes it gets a little funky, but that should be the link to the Facebook group. Also, follow us on Instagram, man. We have fun on IG. That's where I'm at most of the day. Talking to people, posting some videos. Liking your page, liking your pictures.
So do I get a good amount of order for Instagram? I get a few orders for Instagram. I mean, people see the content all the time and hit me up. Yeah, that reminds, that reminds me. Somebody else was supposed to come in here. I guess he couldn't make it, but. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not that much coming from Instagram. But it's um, What the heck happened? Oh, we messed something messed up here. Yo, it's like the tape, the heat tape actually dissolved into the hat. Look at this. Like, ah, uh, I won't believe what happened. For some reason, the tape. It's on the back. <laughs> Yo, the tape is on the back of the vinyl. Oh, man. That's no good. That's no good. Yeah, these hats do have the crease, not a crease. Yeah, I guess it has the same down the middle. It has the same going right down the middle. Yeah, this, I just messed up. I go to pull the tape off and the tape is in the back of the design. Oh, I'm able to take it off. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. We're gonna have to troubleshoot this. If I'm able to take this off, that would be golden. I just took it off. You think I'll still be able to press it? Ooh, I think we're good. We're just gonna put this piece of tape on the front here to hold it down now. Let's see if we can find a fix. Let's tack it and see what happens. Oh, bueno, man, dog bueno. Dog bueno, man. We're good. We are good. We got two more, right? Two more to do on this hat, and then we'll be able to do at least a few of those shirts there with the print cut and the vinyl. Now don't do nothing funky on me again, Tate. happen that tape is sticky and annoying just be careful applying it that's it good to go nice and safe yep save the day Yes, I did do, I added an offset. So 
Yeah, it, it was, it did get the contour cut. Using the silhouette. Okay, that's it, they're done. They're done there. Let's jump over here to this press just so we can get some of these laid out. Turn this off. Adjust y'all a little bit here. You can see what we're doing. Yeah, I made a bunch of them. It's, it is for an organization. It's for this group from Liberia. And the organization, they were all living in one section in Liberia. And they're all here. So they meet together every year for a convention. So this is their first First, this is the first time me doing their design or their logo, their shirts, but very guarantee moving forward every year we'll have this order. I do not print neck tags on my shirts. Not on my arm, not on these custom shirts. So now I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna apply the vinyl to it. Okay, we're gonna apply the vinyl. This is Webflex. Webflex prints at 330. Yeah, we're flex apply at 330 for 12 to 15. Set, but I have ordered the good ones for online before. 
What do you mean? Oh, I have used vinyl for neck tags before. Okay. So now you're using the, what's the good ones? This vinyl is cold pill, so we're gonna have to let it cool down before we peel it off, all right? Me too. What's your mom say? Your mama tricking, man. Uh, now, if if, if y'all has found value to this video, now go ahead. I need I need more content for tomorrow. I think I don't know. I think I have something for tomorrow. But I need I need y'all to drop these questions, man. This the questions that you ask is what's gonna bring these videos out on a daily basis. So if you guys are asking questions on Instagram, on YouTube comments, that's how we're gonna do the daily live based on your questions, or else I'm just gonna go live and we're just gonna chat. I mean, but if you wanna see something, I'm gonna need you to ask questions so we can make it happen. This thing took some of the colors off the design. Took out some of the colors. So that means we might have to cut out the set, the middle of this to prevent this from happening. So we have to cut out the middle of that vinyl. Multicolor vinyl layering. Okay. Multicolor vinyl layer layering. We'll put that in the queue. I'm going to cut out the middle of this thing.
All right, so to, to avoid a discolor, I cut out the middle. So now when this is sitting on the shirt, it's not gonna pull any colors off of it. Ooh, that's another good one there. For that question, Stitch, I'm gonna have to bring Kyle onto this, that, my, the vinyl, our vinyl guy from um, Annie Up. I'm gonna bring him on for a live and we're gonna answer that question there. How do you pick the right vinyl for a job? Um, that, that would be a good one for Kyle. I'm I'm gonna actually bring him on so we can do a little collab thing for that one there. I don't yeah, we'll have to do that one. I like that question. That's a good question. Okay, another one will be updated. I'll do an updated video with the shot. I'll do an updated video. We've, we've added a few things over there. It's a lot more shirts now. There's some racks. We took some shelves down and added something else because I'm going to actually try to bring the brand. I'm going to put Tornville in here as well so we have an in-house brand. There's a little setup that's happening there, but I like that one. We'll do another video with the full tour. And there's also something happening in here that my wife's setting up. But I don't know if she's ready to show that one yet. That has nothing to do with t-shirts. You say, how does the T3G OPEG feels on garment? It's rough. I mean, it's rough, it's, it's a little heavy. You can't really fold the, the garment, but it works. I mean, it works. It's a good method to get full color graphics. It works and it stays on there for a while. I actually like the vinyl from Vinyl Expressions, that type of, their printable vinyl. I like that one, it feels, it's nice and soft. I mean, I have a shirt in the showroom there with it on there. I like that one, the, the feel better. If you're interested in trying that, there's a link in a video. If you, I think we did a video called, it's like printable something i can't remember the exact title but there's a link it's also a link in probably more videos than that pretty smooth too. So the gimme five printable HTV. So I mean I'm calling this is this is printable HTV. Like, I consider that to be HTV, but yeah, Expressions Vinyl have a better quality one. So does it crack? I haven't had any complaints of this cracking. It might fade in a while, but I don't know about cracking. 
the Gimme Five. I have to check out that Gimme Five. That's the vinyl that um my man from Heart and Hustle be selling, right? Yeah, that's good, butter man. You should try. You should try it out. I mean, you should try it out. Amazon have it. I mean, also if you're interested in using um, as far as getting vinyl, you can use our folks partners at uh, any up graphics. I mean, they have good good prices on vinyl. B Flex, yeah, B Flex is a company that sells that. Give me five. I'm glad it was only 12 of these that we did like this. The rest of them I use screen printer transfers. I should be using these because I still have one, two, three, four. I still have four screen printer transfers that I ordered for this order on the original, the original amount that they did and then they added up to it. So if you can see, there's a bunch of them on this table over here. All right, this will be the last one we do for this video. All right, so after this, I think I have about six more to do or something. Heart and Hustle, what's up with you? Someone say, give me five. That's such a catchy name, give me five. Yes, sir. What's going on? I gotta try that vinyl, man. I gotta try that vinyl.
Yeah, there's I had an issue finding what side to print on when I was using the um the sticker paper from those folks at a what was it, expression vinyl? But we figured it out. It says question. I know there is a trade show for the industry, but are there any trade magazines? Hmm. I don't know. There, what's the one? There is one magazine that, what is it called? I know of one magazine that has like industry news and all that. I'm not sure of the name right now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try it out, bro. I got you. I'm gonna have to hit you up. Are you feeling the for the last couple will use this but for now i have to change the temperature and all that and i'm gonna turn that press off that's it for the press that's about it for that press tonight So send me a message on IG, I sure will. The high, my IG is Garmin Creations. It's the same thing everywhere. And if you're talking about Heart and Hustle, his IG is also Heart and Hustle. Cool, cool. All right, what else y'all got? We got about 10 minutes here at the 45 mark. I'll probably be off of here. So I'm starving. I wonder if it's still pouring outside. It was pouring hard outside earlier. So where did I get which transfers? I got the screen printed transfers from from John at Top Transfers. My boy Jonathan at Top. Your boy. That's how I got I got I got introduced to them through one of your videos, man, way back. And I reached out to them a while ago, and we had things. It's not full color. Oh, this here is actually it's not full color. It's um it's 3G opaque. It's the screen printed transfer. I haven't tried their full colors yet. 
Have you tried it? I have not used anything but one color from um, Top Transfer. I want to use that one color design. Because I don't get much. I have I don't get too much of um more than two color designs. Because every time I give someone the price and then I tell them they can get a cheaper with this option here, they always go with the cheaper option, of course, to save money. I'm not going to charge people extra just for one extra color of a line. It's going to cause me to get it, so they have to pay for it. So if they want to avoid any issue there of them going somewhere else, I usually just offer them the one color. So when are you going to do a design challenge? What do you mean a design challenge? Let me know more. Yo, go ahead and smash the like button if you haven't, because I haven't reminded y'all in a little bit. If you're on here and you did not smash the like button, go ahead and show your boy some love. Smash that thing one time. I do give them the choice. So when they come, either they come in or they call, I tell them I got the most of the these shirts come with the guild in. But if they want that better, the better retail feel, I always tell them about the better canvas or the next level. So I do have those are the three design, the three brand shirts that we carry here in the shop there. So usually when people walk in, they can feel both. And most times people go with the Bella. Which gilding do I use? The gilding that I use is 500 or 200. Five or two. Sometimes I use the soft style. So if, if I know a customer can't afford, the, they don't want to pay for that gilding, I tell them, all right, if you want that same soft style, we'll go down and we'll do the gilding. I forgot the number on that gilding soft style, but I just know it's the gilding soft style. I like that idea, Butler. Butter. Butter man saying that we should set up a design challenge. All right, we'll set up some type of design challenge where you guys will present a design. You present some designs and we'll go through it. And then the winning design will get printed. Is that what you're talking about? I like that idea big time. I like competitions. Who, who, who likes competitions in here? Like, I like competitors. I like competitions. All those help me exercise my skills. All right, bro, keep pressing. Fire up the heat press. That do sound like fun. That definitely sounds like fun. We we'll have to set some up. Who who saw interest? If you're interested, give me a quick thumbs up. Not on the video. I'm not gonna keep bugging y'all for that. But if you wanted to, you go ahead. I also, I would like to see the emoji thumbs up if you want. If you want to be a part of that challenge, I think that'll be a good. It'll be a good idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So let's do it. Why not? I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to put out a video. We might just do a quick one minute video where people uh, tell people exactly about the challenge. And then I'll post it in the Facebook group as well. I also post it on Instagram. 
and people can submit the, that design. And then we will decide, we'll go through the design probably live here. We'll vote. We'll all put out our vote live. And then, yep, that's exactly what we'll do. I won't even let people know who the design is from until after the vote is in. So there's no like, I mean, people be getting catching some type of misfeelings. So there's none of those. But I think we're all we're all friendly here. We're all good peoples, right? A Torrenville design challenge. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with all the design challenge. I like the idea. I'm going to put something out. Maybe tomorrow I'll throw it out there and let y'all know. So look out for on YouTube, you know, YouTube, the community, the community chat there. I'll be posting on that. So I don't know how many people see it, but I do know I get some type of engagement. Like I asked the other day about the live videos and people responded pretty well to that. Oh, Regina is another one. Regina said, hi, start my business, make T-shirts tomorrow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Welcome. Welcome to the T-shirt game. Welcome to the Fire Up the Heat Press fam, you know? Well, a heat press panors. I mean, I'm a heat press panor. That's what I do for a living. That's what I tell people all the time. I just fire up my heat press and make cash. That's a good question there, Stitch, Stitches. What do y'all think? Should should we have categories? Not categories, but like, what's the word? Um, okay, <laughs> I just read it. Well, it's like, what are, what are the criterias? That's a big word for me. Should that be criterias, black or white? colors, a specific topic. Should we go off of a topic? What do y'all think? Let's jot down some ideas live here so then I can just go ahead and throw it out there. Okay, just join the Facebook page. That's good. I'm going to look at it. I got you over here, Lewis. Okay. Lewis is using a cricket. Been praying for two years. Bet. You're in. All right. I'm answering requests right now for the Facebook group if you haven't already. Also send a request on IG too if you're not following Garment Creations on IG. You should be. I think it will beef up the subs and viewers. You decide. You mean the challenge? I think the challenge will beef it up a little bit. People like a little bit of challenge to show their designs. Man, it sounds like it's still pouring outside. Yeah, I think we should do it. We should, we should stick to the black and white. Just stick to the black and white. So stay tuned for the the, the official the official um announcement for this challenge. Black and white to start sounds like a plan. I like this. That was a good idea. I like that. We'll give people about maybe about. How long y'all think y'all need to come up with your best design? About a week? Keep the challenge open for a week?
So maybe football team logo. Hmm. Okay. And it have to be a design that you created, not anything off of Etsy, none of that. Have to be a design that you created. Be honest with it. I trust y'all. Sometimes I use Etsy, man, when you don't have time. When I have time, plus Etsy has a lot of good creators on there. I like to support people. Okay, I know I said it would be 15 minutes. Yep, seven, seven days. We'll set it for seven days and then we'll go through it together on a live. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna put it out tomorrow. I'm gonna do a quick little video, upload it on YouTube and see where, and put the information where people can submit their designs to. Yes, yeah, we'll, we'll push this all the way to the two hours mark. At the two hours mark, your boy will have to be out, out of here. So we got literally, we got, according to that clock on YouTube says 12 minutes. According to my actual computer clock here, says 13 minutes. So we'll go with exactly when that thing says two hours will be done. So that's about 10 minutes, all right? I appreciate that third. Day, I mean, I try to keep people engaged, man. So some days I'll jump on there and so ask like, hey, what did you do this week? Throw out some of your designs that you did this week. I mean, so it's good that we, we, we want to, I want to put people in the habit of being comfortable with sharing their ideas or sharing their, their inspirations. You never know. You might put something that's going to click on creative juices, you know? You got it. Okay, have a good one there, Stitches. Stitches to design. Sketches, I'm talking about skit stitches. No, no stitches, sketches to design. Man, I got this big blister here now, messing with this hat press earlier. Yep, fire up the heat press. The thing is, man, that's crazy too. I didn't even get my design from this guy. So the, the actual, the fire up the heat press design that t-shirt design that I post, post up there, that design is still in revision. I'm still going back and forth with this guy that I hired of Instagram. He's a little slow with his response time. I don't know what country he's in, but 24 hours is 24 hours, bro. Like, And then he gave me an excuse that he just had a kid. I respect that. I said, okay, no problem. I mean, I know how that can get. But it's like, I need him to do a little better. Then the last one he sent with the heat press attached to the text, I like the design, but I don't like the layout. It's way too tall. It's like, in order for me to really put, put that on the shirt, I have to do like a left pocket. And yeah, so I told him to just rethink it. 
I mean, even if he separates the press off the design in a way, I'll be able to play with it myself and lay it out. I mean, so I'm waiting for him to send me another, another version. I appreciate that, Peachy. I appreciate that big time. I do it for, I do it for the team, man. I gotta give back. It's my way of giving back. Talking about stitches, stitches get stitches. You know what? That 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 that's actually what we should do. I think that's exactly what we should do. We should that, that that's exactly what it should be. I think the challenge is gonna be the best fire up the heat press design. I think that's what it's going to be. We're gonna I'm gonna have to throw it out there. Of course, people jumped off the live already, but that's actually what the, the challenge is gonna be. I'm gonna need people to create the their best. Yep, the best um the best design of as for um fire up the heat press. Because we gotta we gotta come up with a design. I wanna do some merch for the for the group. I wanna do some merch for the for the um for the channel. I mean just another way to get some support from y'all just so we can upgrade some things. Right now I'm shooting this video here. The live is right off my computer. I mean, we already talked about this press. I want to replace that. I want to get into sublimation. I want to start doing some sublimation videos. So the budget for that right now is about four hundred dollars. And I mean, I I would like some support on that. And I believe we got good people here that's willing to throw a dollar out there. But all those things are coming. I mean, in the long run, we'll have all those things just so we can have content. I mean, we'll be able to figure things out live, troubleshoot some things. All that. So I'm going to be throwing a Patreon page out real soon. I got to finish the copy tonight or something. I started it last night. Exactly. We all need to know more about sublimation. So we'll work on it together. I know Giovanni, Giovanni, that was on here earlier. He said he's been doing sublimation for about four years now. So he'll be a great help for us. Help us all through this process of getting into sublimation. So I should set up Super Chat. I'm not sure. I have to look into it. I thought Super Chat is like you have to have a certain amount of sub, um, subscribers. I'm not sure about Super Chat. That's the thing. I have to look it up. If if there is a way, I'm no, I know it's a way, but well, I'll have to check it out and see how to set up the Super Chat. I thought it was you have to be at a certain subscribers. I'm going to look into it. I'll keep y'all posted. Probably by tomorrow, we'll find out if there's a way. I mean, even if we got to get it through Cash App or something, but I don't know. The support would be appreciated. The first thing I want to target is the sublimation machine, sublimation printer. Yeah, I hope Super Chat is a good, is, um, good at 1,000 subscribers. But I think I've heard... You needed more, but we'll look into that. I'll keep you all posted. But we got about five minutes, y'all. So what else do we got? So yeah, so start thinking about your best fire up the heat press design. That's gonna be the challenge. Yeah, Rez, Rez channel is way up there. <laughs> Rez is at like 260 something subscribers. I know you have it. I don't know if Stan have it, but there's a few people that have super chat. We gotta figure out how to get it. 
Anton, what's going on? Okay, Trey Ball says he's doing sublimation as well. That's good. You'll be able to take us through this process here. Be like a help me help you type of deal. My biggest, my biggest thought on investment, the big, biggest machine that I see in the future right now, I want to get a full, what's it called, a VersaCam, the, um, the full print and cut machine. <laughs> it's about maybe, what is it, like 2016 to like 20 grand? That's the biggest thing I see, but... Until then, we'll take bits, pieces by pieces. And one day, there's a big order that's going to come in and it's going to pay for that machine in one shot. I see it and I believe it. That's the thing. That's the machine I was looking into. I was looking into the Epson 20, the 7720. So you was thinking about converting it. I, I thought, I also heard that you can't convert, you can't put sublimation ink in it if you've already been using it for inkjet, but I don't know. Oh yeah, we'll definitely, we'll, we'll definitely do the, the video on converting it once I get it. Oh, I claim it. Claim it. Okay, it's still brand new. Yeah, you can definitely convert it in. All right, y'all, we got about two more minutes. If you're on here, you're just joining on, you did not hit that like button. I don't know what you're waiting for. Go ahead. Smash it. Oh, it's actually down here somewhere. I'm pointing up there, but it's down here. Smash that like button for your boy. We got about two minutes before we get off of this thing. You need a how-to? We'll definitely have a how-to. Once, once, once we get the setup, it's definitely going to be a how-to. Do it. Most definitely. I'm gonna start going live in the Facebook group too. I haven't done those some exclusive content on there. How did the mug turn out? <laughs> Even though I'm gonna say you should watch the video, but this is how the mug turned out. It didn't work. <laughs> It just did not work. We need to talk more about how people get customers. Yes. Yeah, the vinyl did stick to that well. The vinyl did. Oh, I was, you, I was hoping that this thing would work too. Like, I was hoping it would work because I was going to get fancy with some stuff. Okay. T-shirt chick, I think saying that T-shirt chick did a video on sublimation recently. What's going on, Reagan? All right, y'all. I'm sorry if you just jumped on here. We've been two hours in this thing. And what we did today, we did some hats. Just so you know, we did these hats here with the print and cut. Did a bunch of them. I mean, with the print and cut using this hat machine. And then we also did the shirts. We added vinyl on there as well. That was our agenda for today. And if you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Check out one of the other videos. It don't have to be alive. Check out one of the other videos there and join the Facebook group. You can reach me right now in the Facebook group or on IG. Hit me up on the email 
I mean, you can text me, whatever. I'm I'm pretty, I'm pretty um what's the word I'm looking for? I mean, I'm pretty responsive. I guess that's the word. I'm responsive with this thing here. So until next time, go ahead, stay tuned. If you just joined, we have a challenge coming for someone to create the fire up the heat press logo. I'm going to put that out tomorrow. I'm pretty reachable as well. All right, so stay tuned for that challenge design so you're able to submit your designs. And for the till next time, all of y'all have a good night. God bless y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Keep firing up the heat press and I'm out. Yep, accessible. Yes, good night. See y'all later, man. Definitely not hard to find. I'm everywhere. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Take it easy.